Westmoreland Community Connections is a presentation of Citizens Fiber. Welcome to Westmoreland Community Connections, a look at issues and happenings on Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. Here now is your host, Chad Ammond, President and CEO of the Westmoreland County Chamber of Commerce. Hello and welcome to Westmoreland Community Connections. I'm your host, President and CEO of the Westmoreland County Chamber of Commerce, and I'm so happy to have uh, Jeff Mikovich on the show today. He is the chair of Cupid's Chase of Community Options. Thanks for being on a show. Jeff. I appreciate you having me here today. It's a it's an honor to be here with you, and good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you. Um, yeah, I mean, tell the listeners your background and how you got into community options. Well, as you know, I spent twenty years in the airline business, and uh, when it was, you know, my heart said it was time to get out of there, and I kind of just through a friend fell upon community options and I fell in love with their mission and what they're doing to uh, to help individuals with developmental disabilities that are in our community and making them a bigger part of our community. And that's just something that I fell in love with and I just had to get involved. Um, God and my heart just kind of pulled me to it and uh, I thoroughly enjoy what I do. Yeah, I mean, go on their website. Uh, The website is communityoptions.org, O-R-G, and uh, from there you can actually go into the uh, section marked Cupid's Chase, or you can just go to cupidschase.org if you want to find out some more information about the race coming up. So uh, what is Cupid's Chase? Cupid's Chase is a 5K run that we have every year in February. It's our biggest fundraiser of the year. Now, I know everybody's saying, why do you have it in February? Well, February is our anniversary of community options. We began in February of 1989, um, you know, assisting uh, individuals with disabilities into the community, providing homes for them, um, uh, everyday living skills, jobs, volunteering in the community, and just making the community aware that they're here, they belong here. Institutionalization is a thing of the past. We want our individuals out in the community of which they belong and and, and benefiting from being a, a member of their community. So uh, if you have uh, running in uh, February, you're getting warm. Yeah, you're right? getting warm, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. And plus there's a lot of other things to, uh, to warm you up there. We have uh, uh, the musical selections of, of uh, DJ Dark Shark. He'll be there and everybody will be doing you know, some, some line dancing to get us motivated and things like that. Um, we've got all kinds of snacks and fruit and awards. We have a, a lot of giveaways from uh, local uh, establishments that you know, have given us gift cards and gift baskets and things to give away to the runners. So it's a real exciting uh, time. We have a lot of hot coffee donated by Dunkin' Donuts, so we're very appreciative to them, and we're hoping to see Mr. Donut out there doing some exercises with us as well. So it's just a real fun morning for a great cause. And they have donuts, right? Of course there's donuts, yes. <laughs> well, you have, yes. To, you have to have a 5K <laughs> to, to... Absolutely. Uh... <laughs> yes, and for those of you who love the donuts, we do have the donuts and coffee there for you, and those of you who are on a little more healthier. We do have, uh, you know, fruit and granola bars and things like that to snack on as well. So, so it's going to be Saturday, February eighth at is ten correct. o'clock. Yes, in the morning. Um, where is it? Uh, it's going to be held at Latrobe Memorial Stadium, and we have to thank those folks uh, at the stadium for uh, allowing us to use the facility there as well. Mark Mears, you're a great guy. Thank you very much. Um, uh, it, it's. Uh, uh, there at the snack bar, and that's where we start, and that's where we finish. How many people attend? Well, and if, if did you have this in the past? This is the third annual for our region here in Westmoreland County, and every year it's been a little more successful than the year before. Last year, I believe we had about seventy runners, so we're we're looking to uh, we set a goal for a hundred runners uh, this year, so we're hoping to get that. Now, we realize everybody doesn't run, but there's other ways that you can get involved. You can actually be a virtual runner if you want. You can go onto the website at cupidschase.org, and you can sign up to be a runner. You can receive the goodie bag all the runners get, and you can get donations in your name. You don't have to really complete the run. Just come by and pick up your goodie bag, and we'll have those available on Friday from 1 to 3 at the uh, Greater Latrobe Chamber of Commerce. 
Well, yeah. Well, you can uh, lay in bed and That's sign correct. up. And, and still make money um, <laughs> yeah. and help raise money for individuals yeah. with developmental disabilities and, and just be you know nice and cozy in bed, but you can sign up as a virtual runner as well. What can participants expect to find the morning race? The morning of the race, they're going to find a lot of fun. They're going to find music, they're going to find dancing, they're going to find exercises, they're going to find food, and they're just going to find a, a great camaraderie between members of the community, all for a single and very important cause. Who are the major sponsors? You brought up Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, yeah, Dunkin'. They are going to have yes. coffee and donuts. <laughs> we have so many um, businesses throughout the, the uh, community that are helping us. Uh, I'd like to say a special thank you to Excel Health uh, for their sponsorship all three years. Um, the Touchdown Club, DeSalvo Station, um, Signs by Tomorrow, um, just to name a few, uh, Phoenix uh, Rehabilitation, um, Somerset Trust. Mm. We, we've got so many um, in the community that are that are coming out and, uh, and and helping us, and we couldn't be more thankful for our for our partners in the community. Yeah, um, businesses so much invest in not-for-profits and stuff like that correct i mean we can't thank uh the businesses in our community enough i agree um so many have reached out um not only just for the race but also um for our individuals to uh, uh say for instance got just hardwoods we have individuals that go there and they shred paper and it's on a volunteer basis but this is something that they don't have to use a payroll person for and the job still gets done and the individual is out in the community working. So it's, it's a win-win situation for everyone. And we'd like to see other in, uh, businesses reach out and utilize our individuals because they have a lot to offer. Well, uh, how can the businesses reach out to you or community options uh, for uh, donating shoes or, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> right. shoes or uh, <laughs> uh, T-shirts or something like that? Sure. Um, they can call our office in Greensburg. Um, they can email us. Um, actually, you could email me personally. It's jeffrey.minkovich at comop.org, C-O-M-O-P dot O-R-G. And I'll definitely get it to the right direction. Our executive director, um, Steve Hall, um, he does so much and, uh, you know, in helping all of our individuals and guiding us as well. And, uh, you know, we can reach out to him and he knows where the biggest needs are and we, we focus there. Well, if you don't win the race, how, uh, what do you get? I mean, if I ran, um, my, uh, eighth, uh, eighth uh, grade student. Well, I mean, I mean, all of my kids would right. beat me. Would outrun you. Well, everybody gets a medal, you know, that says that they participated. Now there are trophies for the winners, and it's all in different age categories. So it's not like a four-year-old that's out there running is going against a thirty-year-old guy, or you know, it's all in. And the prizes are in different age groups. You'll definitely get that. And just a sense of pride that you did something for your community. I think that's the best thing that you can take away from this is knowing that you were a part of something that is giving back to the community and helping those that are a little less fortunate than we are. So are there any age restrictions? I mean, I have kids that are 17, 14, and 11, and 8. I mean... Can, uh, Everybody like, uh, is yeah. welcome. We welcome families to run. We've had some families that will wear like you know their their own family T shirt or something while they're running. Um, we we take rollers, uh, meaning uh, if you want to push a stroller while you're running with your child, uh, if you're in a wheelchair, um, we we can accommodate that as well. So. Um, and so you can um, have a baby. <laughs> sure. Yeah, bring the baby in the stroller and yeah, you know stroller. jog along the um the uh, the five k and uh, just you know have a good time, get some exercise. Baby has a good time, but everybody is welcome. That's what I want to make you know perfectly clear. Everybody is welcome. Do you welcome 
other organizations. Um, sure. I mean, not-for-profit organizations. We've had many other organizations um, pick, get teams together because you can also put a team together as well as individuals. We have a few companies that have done that already and uh, actually a few um, uh, political figures that have done that as well. You know, get your name out there and join our race. And so you're, you're, uh, you're helping two causes, your cause and ours. Well, if uh, a company that is ABC and XYZ compete with each other, I mean, that... It could be fun. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> like going to be see fun. What, happens. Um, <laughs> what is the virtual running and how can you walk? Um, I'm doing, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to walk. I'm not going to run. Obviously, since I have stage four lung cancer, I'm not going to be running the race, but I feel the need to fight. So I'm going to be, I'm going to walk it just to prove to myself that I can do it and to other cancer survivors or those facing cancer that, yeah, you can do it too. But that, that's my goal. And I will finish. <laughs> I, I will finish. <laughs> We will be right back after these messages, and we're going to talk about uh, more about uh, Cupid's Chase and um, community options. This is Westmoreland Community Connections on Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. If you have a suggestion for a topic, or if your nonprofit organization would like to be featured on this program, call us during regular business hours at 724-216-1200. Westmoreland Community Connections is a presentation of Citizens Fiber. Welcome back. You're listening to Westmoreland Community Connections on Hometown Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. I'm your host, Chad Ammon, President and CEO of the Westmoreland County Chamber of Commerce. Our guest today is Jeff Mikovich. Uh, he is the um, works for Community Options, and he... Uh, uh, facilitates the um, you know Cupid's Chase in Latrobe on Saturday, uh, February eighth, February at at ten o'clock. Um, how does uh, one get involved with Cupid's Chase? Actually, it's very simple, and you can do it right from the comfort of your own home. You can log on to cupidschase.org or g and. Uh, uh, it has for volunteers, it has a, you can click where it says volunteers if you'd like to just volunteer. And there are numerous things that we can, uh, that you can help us with. And we have a really nice party afterwards for all the volunteers at the pier. And I want to shout out to the pier and at Sharky's as well for uh -huh. all that they've done. I missed them when you were asking me uh, about uh, oh, yeah, different yeah. businesses. And uh, so I definitely want to reach out to the pier. You can also sign up there as well. Uh, uh, at uh, cupidschase.org and to be a runner or to be a virtual runner just go right to the website all the information you need is right there and I went on the website for community options and they have 12 branches in um, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Correct. and um, I think they have uh, Cupid's Chase uh, uh, on the uh, a nation. It's all over the country, yes. Mm -hmm. That's the day um, that everybody will be doing Cupid's Chase within the Community Options family. So what does Community Options do? Community Options is a nationally-based nonprofit organization, and we believe in dignity of every single person and in the freedom of all the people to experience the highest degree of self-determination. We want to embrace the philosophy um, and we provide housing and employment opportunities for people with disabilities. That's pretty much our, our motto. We want the individual to be out in the community as much as possible, non-institutionalized, and living the life that they, the best life that they can live. So what services are offered by Community Options? We have numerous uh, services. Uh, the main one is housing. Um, we have uh, over 20 houses in within Westmoreland Armstrong County where we house our individuals. They're staffed 24-7, and we help with everyday living skills and uh, you know, take them to you know, grocery shopping and, and doing any type of errands, any type of activities outside the house. They have staff 24-7 to assist them with this so they're never alone. That's, that's our main one. 
And we also have a day program for individuals who live at home, but want to be out in the community during the day. Um, many of our individuals, uh, you know, come out with us around eight o'clock in the morning and we go out into the community and do different activities and get involved in different volunteer activities. Um, and uh, then we take them home, you know, later on in the afternoon, but they spend a quality day in the community five days a week. We also have uh, um, our employment um, department where um, we get jobs for individuals. Uh, Jesse Pearl is the program manager of that, and she does a great job with supportive employment and providing uh, our individuals with part-time work, um, but not only getting them the jobs, but teaching them the job skills they need to make it in the in this world, you know, in the job world. So community options. I I went online, and they have the option to have disabled people, um, and they serve those people. Correct. And uh, we can't thank you enough. For community <laughs> options, um, appreciate it. Uh, we we do what we do because it comes from the heart. We believe in our mission, and we go out and we complete our mission every single day. And the growth that we see these individuals, um, uh, it, it's amazing. Uh, some of the the things that these folks have done that no one would have ever thought they could do in the beginning, but because of training and. Um, just a lot of positive motivation. We've seen some of these individuals just grow and it just it just touches your heart. It's just an amazing thing. You can't put a dollar amount on that. Yeah. Um, well, and another thing um, that the community options does um, is step school um, to employment program. That's correct. We have um, a program that's called the step program and um, it's school to employment and it's a job training transition program uh, that's for high school students and young adults with special needs and step provides the students with transferable vocational education and relevant social skill development as part of their individualized education program we uh, improve future opportunities for competitive employment and post-secondary education step can also provide students with you know, real world hands-on training through very unique opportunities to explore a number of different career paths. So we assist the school districts in fulfilling their obligations by providing a program that facilitates the successful implementation of required transition services and programs are customized to fit the needs and preference of those participating. We have one young lady, Ella, that's finished the program and she's done a great job. She was our first one and I was very pleased to be working with her and uh, I helped uh, our uh, uh, director, Angeline Landy, with a STEP program. And uh, it's, it's proved great for Ella. And we're looking to get more individuals uh, that are part of this program as well. It's kind of like they, they fell through the cracks in high school. So we're going to pull them out of there and make sure that they get the education that they need, the guidance that they need. And now she's living on her own in her own apartment. She's working. She's doing a fantastic job. So definitely a success story. Yeah, good. Um, and I see disabled people um, at Giant Eagle and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know if uh, Community Options works with Giant Eagle, but who uh, are you working with for business is in our community and uh, where can one reach out uh, who is needed for that service? If you're looking for our services, um, you can al always give our office a call. The number is 724-221-6119. If you have an individual that is in need of either daytime services or you know you they want to move out and be on their own and be independent we can we can provide that um, we'll look into funding and that type of thing that uh, that's where our executive director comes in and and uh, our state director they they take care of those things I bring them in and then they kind of take care of it from there you know that's that's their job to, to continue on with it but or you can go onto our website or you can just stop by our office. We're at 137 Matthew Street in Greensburg um, if you have any questions. But please feel free to reach out if you have an individual that you feel would benefit from our program. We would love to talk to you.
Westmoreland County has approximately uh, 28% of our residents that are 65 or older. Mm -hmm. And so many people don't want to watch prices right in the morning. Sure. Um, and how does do one become a part of the community options team or um, volunteer? Well, we are currently hiring. So if uh, oh. you're looking for employment in this type of work, we do have positions open. Uh, direct caregivers are definitely needed. And uh, community integration counselors are also needed. Um, that would be working direct line with our individuals in the day program or in uh, our residential program. Um, and you can apply on our website or you can stop by our Greensburg office. Like I said, it's located at 137 Matthews Street in Greensburg. You do have to have a valid driver's license and we ask that you have no prior offenses. We do offer paid vacation, medical, eye, dental, as well as investment opportunities. Um, I've been there for almost five years and uh, I, I really enjoy it. And uh, I would recommend it to anyone. Well, uh, community options, C-O-M-O-P dot org, uh, or you can call 724-221-6119, 724-221-6119. Um, Jeff, uh, if we were sitting here uh, a year from now, um, what would um, you uh, have the uh, option for the best thing that community options did this year in 2020? I'd have to say individual growth. When I see the growth of these individuals that we work with on a daily basis, um, and they go from doing nothing and basically existing to being a vital part of their community, um, that then then we've succeeded in, in doing in in our in uh, getting our mission across. We we've definitely been a success, and yeah. I see so many success stories. I work with them on a daily basis. You know, I have to give a shout out to my friend Kevin. He uh, uh, he was at school, and then once you know, once they leave school, like for instance, Clellian or Latrobe High School has you know different schools, and they hold them till they're twenty one. But then what? And then they kind of give them the boot, and then. You know, and parents are kind of like, what do we do now? Come to Community Options. We're your solution for that. Um, you know, we can help you in, in pretty much any way. And we do take some rough cases. Um, you know, it's not always easy. I mean, sometimes what we do is a little bit rough. You know, sometimes people with autism have behaviors, you know, and but we're trained to, to deal with those behaviors and how to de-escalate them in a safe manner for both the individual and for the employee. Well, all of my kids, four, four <laughs> of my kids go to Latrobe. Um, and do you have uh, students uh, across the county uh, volunteer? Actually, what we are, are real excited about, and this is brand new. I just was at a, uh, a chamber breakfast on Thursday at Latrobe High School. And they have what they're calling the NEXT program. And um, it's it's preparing ninth through 12th graders you know, for career choices and things like that. But they also have a special education department and they're they're looking for, um, you know, a place for these individuals to go in order to grow once they leave Latrobe. So we're just starting our relationship with them um, and trying to put something together where we'll take some of these individuals once they leave Latrobe High School and we'll continue with their education and their growth and, and their being vital members of our community at that point. You know, um, so there is there there is a place to go once you, the individual leaves school, and that's been such a problem. And now it's not so much a problem because community options is there to help. Well, uh, I you can send me uh, an Instagram, thing <laughs> and I, I'm going to have my my daughter <laughs> that's a senior uh, post it for uh, the students that perfect your friends. Um, well, one last question. What is your organization most proud of? We're most proud of the fact that we um, have so many individuals that are growing 
and really reaching their full potential and then some. I mean, when you see someone reach beyond their comfort zone and achieve, it just touches you like I can't explain. Um, but I would say that's that's our biggest success is the fact that we're providing homes and a life, um, a meaningful life for individuals with developmental disabilities. So anything that you want to uh, have the listeners uh, make sure that they know? Let's just recap what's going on. Cupid's Chase, February 8th. Registration begins at 8. The race begins at 10. That's at uh, the Latrobe Memorial Stadium. And uh, you can go on to cupidschase.org so, uh, and, and sign up. And again, we're looking for volunteers. We're looking for runners. Um, and we're also looking for individuals to become a part of the community options team. Thank you for so much for the community options that impact positively impacts our our county and uh, southwestern Pennsylvania and the nation. Um, uh, listeners, go on to uh, comop.org or call 724 um, thank you very much. Chad, for, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much uh, for uh, having us on board today and giving me the opportunity to uh, express uh, the importance of community options and our mission and our race. Can't thank you enough and WHJB for their uh, utmost kindness. We can't thank you enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, You've been listening to Westmoreland Community Connections on Hometown Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. Join us next week, same time, same place, for another edition of Westmoreland Community Connections. Thanks for listening, everyone. This has been Westmoreland Community Connections, a look at issues and happenings in and around Westmoreland County. Join us again next week on Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. Westmoreland Community Connections is a presentation of Citizens Fiber. Of Citizens Fiber. Of Citizens Fiber. Of Citizens Fiber.